Hey everyone, it's Patrick with Univium. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to pull all of your Google Chat data over into Google Sheets using Google Apps Script. Uh, it's a relatively simple method compared to other methods, and so I'll just kind of show you real quick what that looks like. Um, let me go to my chats real quick just so you can kind of see where I'm pulling from. Uh, so, you know, we have all these uh, spaces right here. Uh, and so we're going to pull from there. And so I'll just run a quick demo so you can see what this looks like uh, when it's functioning. And then I'll walk you through the process of setting it up. Uh, so I'm going to run this real quick. It'll go through and just pull over all my data. Now, what I'm going to show you today is a more simple method. It's just going to pull uh, Google Chat spaces that you were in. Um, it's not going to pull in DMs and it won't be able to pull in all data for all users in your workspace. Um, so, but if you are interested in that, I do have a method to do that. It's just a little bit more complex. Just leave a comment and I can make a, a video to, to walk you through that. But as you can see, it pulled everything in um, for the past, I think, 24 hours. Yeah, I have a look back a period of 24 hours. I have it designed so you can set it up on a trigger to run uh, automatically uh, in the background. And I have it where it won't duplicate messages. So like if I rerun it, um, it's not going to pull these in a second time. It's only gonna pull in any new messages that uh, haven't been recorded before. And so you can see there it's starting where it left off. And so let's see if there's anything else. If not, I will go ahead and get into it. Uh, just some requirements for this. You do need a Google Workspace account. Um, you won't be able to do it if all you have is like a personal account. So you do need a Google Workspace account. Um, and yeah, so other than that, I'll go ahead and get into it. This was a version I made just to kind of show you all ahead of time what this looks like. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let's put all this back into one tab. And we are going to create a new uh, Google Sheet. So, okay. Just do this. Let's just do the version we're working on. Uh, did I not save that? Yeah, there it is. Okay, perfect. And so then we're going to create an extension uh, with the app script. And I will also name this one. You can name it whatever you want. This is just for me to be able to keep track of it. Then I'm not going to go too in depth on the, uh, the code uh, involved. Um, I have a version out there that's already written, so I'll show you where you can pull that. You can actually pull that from my repository, which I'll have a link uh, in the description. And I just go to Google Apps Script, uh, and we're going to do Google Chats to Google Sheets. And uh, so you can see this is the one that's a little bit more complex. It'll pull for everyone in your workspace, and it'll pull uh, DMs as well as spaces, but it requires a lot more configuration. So today I'm just going to focus on the uh, more simple version. And so we have uh, the chats to sheets and then the app script JSON. Um, and so I think, did I just copy this whole thing? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and close out of these so I don't get confused. So we're going to copy that into here. Uh, then we need to go to our settings here. We need to show app script JSON file, go back up here, um, and we are going to here, go up here, copy this. This has all your scopes that you need. Um, we have that right there, and then. So after this, so this next step, uh, I'm gonna kind of go through some uh, real-time troubleshooting just because it's a bit of a process and the errors it gives you tells you what you need to set up next. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, run this. It's gonna ask for me to authorize. I will authorize. 
And after I make this video, I'm going to take all this down. So it says Google Chat app not found. Create a chat app. You must turn on the chat API and all of that. So what that's referring to is you're going to need to go to uh, Google Cloud Console. Uh, when you're going to Google Cloud Console, go, go to this URL right here. If you type it in uh, and you like go to it via Google, sometimes it makes it look like you have to pay. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, just go to this uh, URL I have highlighted up here and you're going to come here and we're going to go ahead and create a new project. Um, so let's name this one. there and so it is creating that project and we're going to go to that one uh, we're going to go to apis and services uh, i'm sorry let's go back back a step so one thing we need to do after we create our project make sure it's selected this project number right here you're going to copy that to your clipboard you're going to go back to the script and the project settings you're going to change project and you're going to set the uh, project number. It's going to tell you, let's see, in order to change your project, you will need to configure the OAuth consent screen. Okay. So now, now we're going to go to APIs and services from Google Cloud. We're going to go to OAuth consent screen and we're going to set this up. And so, uh, again, you have to have a workspace account uh, to do this because you need to select internal. Um, app name, let's name it. Or email, I'm going to put myself. Uh, we don't need any of that. Uh, authorized domains, we don't need that because we're going to be doing it all on Google Apps Script, which is why this is so much easier than uh, doing other options. Previously, I tried to do this in, in make.com, but this was just a lot easier uh, since we're working with Google data. We're gonna do that, add or remove scopes and add all of them. Uh, go ahead and continue, summary, and then I think we should be good on that end. I know it's gonna ask for something else after this, but it should let us set that project. So now the project is set up with the app script. So we're gonna go back we're gonna run this one more time, see what it tells us we need next. It's gonna ask us to authorize again. Okay, Google Chat has not been uh, enabled in the project. Yep, so I'm gonna exit this out so it doesn't confuse me. We're gonna to go to, so again, uh, just to kind of show you how we get here. We are in Google Cloud. You know, you go to APIs and services. There's a couple different ways you can do this, but I like to go this route, uh, search for Google Chat API. Uh, see, I'm on the wrong uh, version, so we need to go to uh, this one right here. Um, let's see, enable that. That is enabled. Um, and then I think I know what to need what we need to do next, but I always like to just take it step by step, let it tell me what to do so I don't end up doing you know anything unnecessary. So now it says it's not found again, and I think the reason for that is we need to configure it. Now this is the point where if you don't have a workspace account, it's gonna tell you you need one because to configure the Google Chat API, uh, you need a workspace, if I remember correctly. Uh, app name. Uh, you do need an uh, image. Yeah. Let me make that shorter. There we go. You do need an image for your uh, app on this one. Uh, and it has to be a certain size, which I don't like. And I'm trying to remember what, where my uh, URL is for my image. Give me one second. Okay. 
Jesus. There we go. I also need to make that a transparent background. That's for another time. Okay. There we go. Interactive features, yeah, we're gonna put all of this on. Uh, this one, you'll just put whatever your website is. I don't really know uh, what all this affects. I think it's just they want some kind of website uh, associated with it, but we're not even doing anything with the website in this instance. Uh, this is who's gonna have access to it. Um, if you're having issues, you can go back and turn on logging. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any, so I'm going to leave that off. We have that saved. Uh, now let's go back and see uh, see what's next. Now this might run at this point. Um, so I'm going to put this over here. And we're going to see if this allows it to run. Yep. There we go. And as you can see, it's generating the data or pulling it in from uh, Google Chats and uh, we should be good to go. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, obviously, you can add some more columns on here. Uh, if you go to Google Chat uh, API documentation, uh, you can add a lot more to this script just by reading through this. It's, it's very... Uh, you know, if you've worked with APIs, it's very simple. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, you know, leave a comment or even just shoot me an email, and I'm happy to help. Um, and then we should be good to go. The last things I'm going to mention: don't forget to set your uh, how many hours you want to look back. Uh, this this script is going to be specifically attached to whichever uh, spreadsheet that you created uh, it with because uh, this is created as an extension. And then if you do want to set up a trigger to have it execute every day or every couple hours, you can just go to this trigger section. Uh, you can do add trigger. Uh, make sure you have it set to the main function. Uh, you can you know, set up your notifications. And then time driven is the event source, the hour timer. You do every, you know, eight hours, something like that, if you just want to do it at a regular interval. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all you really need to do uh, in this instance. So if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to leave a comment or uh, shoot me an email, and uh, take care.